Start Good recording. afternoon, everybody. Thomas and Nikki here on FaceTime. And, uh, well, in this video, we're going to talk about communication. And not communication when it comes to relationships, but just communication in general. Um... So, would you like to uh, vent your frustrations and tell everybody what's uh, going on? Sure. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to be going to the dentist tomorrow for a cleaning, but I don't know if that's going to be happening because my house manager thought that... This other staff was going to be taking me, but that other staff quit the company. Right. So, as of right now, I have no ride to my dentist appointment. Right. And, um, yeah, and I, I know how Nikki feels because, I mean, I, I've been in plenty of situations in my life where there has been lack of communication. And it's really frustrating. So, I know how she feels. A hundred percent. The thing is, I have been telling them about this appointment off and on since I set it up in January. Right. Yep. Huh. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, though, you know, I've been in plenty of situations like this. And you know, guys, communication is important whether you're whether you're working or um you know, working with someone or if you're going to a friend's house, that's important. You got to know if you're going to your friend's house or not, right? So that that falls into the communication category, right? Yep. What if you're supposed to and when I say you, I don't mean I mean anyone. What if let's just give an example. Say you're supposed to go to your, uh, I don't know, your boyfriend's house to, or your girlfriend's house tomorrow, right? And you don't hear from them. And your plans aren't definite. So tomorrow comes and you don't go because you didn't hear from them. And then they call you, maybe mad, maybe not mad, saying, why aren't you here? Well, you never called me and said that the plans were definite or not. Right, so that's that's one form of lack of communication. Your significant other did not communicate with you. You know, he or she did not tell you definitely if you guys are hanging out or whatever. Right, so yeah, I know it's a different situation, but it's kind of you know it it falls into the communication part. Communication is very important. So yeah. Now let me ask you this: If if there is someone right now, maybe in, in you know going through the same thing as you, um, you know, you know, not necessarily getting their teeth cleaned, but you know the communication thing, right? What would you? What suggestions or you know what would you have to? What would you suggest or what would you say to them if there's someone watching or listening right now? You know, kind of in your in your situation or whatever. Just reach out to, if it's like a staffing situation, I'd reach out to like someone higher up in the company. If it's like a friendship situation or a significant other situation, I'd reach out to them. Okay. All right. And what if you didn't hear from them? What if you were not sure if you were supposed to hang out with that friend or hang out with your significant other and I don't know, let's just say you text them and, and you don't hear from them and you call them and you don't hear from them, would would you still go to their house or would you uh would you not? To be honest, I don't know. I wouldn't personally. Probably not. Yeah. So guys, you know, communication in life, no matter what instance it is, is very important. That's what I'm going to title this video. Yes, it is. That's what I'm going to title this video, guy. You guys, communication is very important. You know. So, yeah. 
I, I, I definitely understand how you feel. I do. Because I've been in these kind of situations, so... Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, guys, just keep in mind that, you know, we're all adults here. You know, let's... I mean, I understand staff quit, but it's like, then find someone else to... Take me to my appointment. Don't just leave me hanging. Right. Exactly. Yeah, you never want to, you guys, you never want to, no matter what the situation is, especially if it's a friend or a significant other or an employee or whatever, you never want to leave no matter who it is as long as the person's a good person. You never want to leave someone hanging. It, it doesn't make the person feel good. No, it doesn't. You know, I, I, you know, I've been through that, you know, and it doesn't feel good. You know, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So, you know, we're not here to preach or tell you what to do or whatever, but we're just saying that, you know, communication, not only in relationships, but in your everyday life is important. Yes, it is. Because if you don't communicate with someone, you can get them pretty mad. And it could even ruin a relationship or friendships, you know. It's pretty serious. It's it's just, you know, communication's yeah. important. Very important. Yeah. And nobody deserves to feel like they're hanging or yeah, nobody deserves to feel yeah, like they, you know, like they're, you know, like they're hanging. Nobody deserves that. Right. It's it's not a nice, it's not a good feeling. No. So just Keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind. It's very important. Yes. Just think Just think of it this way. How would it make you feel? If someone did it to you. Exactly. You know, unfortunately, there are some people in the world who are self-centered and don't think like that. You know, they only think about themselves. They don't think about the other person, you know. And that's sad, but that's the way the world works, unfortunately. Right. But sometimes people have to think outside the box, and I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but like some people have to not be so into themselves and you know think about other people. Right. And um, you know that that was one of my problems with, uh, as you know, that was one of my problems when I was with. Uh, Megan, as you know, she wasn't a good communicator, and that was a that was a a problem for me. Right. You know, so you know, I've talked about you guys. I've talked about communication and relationships plenty of times in plenty of videos, but this is a little bit different. You know, I mean, we're touching on relationships, but. That's not the main focus of the video. What we're trying, just trying to say here really is com communicate, communicate, communicate. Yes. And, you know, we as blind people, we, we have to make sure we have rides, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, you know, I'm not saying we, we were, you know, because blind people are, a lot of blind people are independent and, you know, a lot of blind people don't rely on anyone. But... We as blind people, we have to get things set up in advance. We have to book rides in advance. You know, we, you know, that's sometimes, how, you know, how we do it, you know. And when you, when there's lack of communication, it just, cause, it can cause a lot of problems. Right. So the important thing here is just whatever it is you're doing in life or whatever the situation may be, communicate. Yes. Communication is important. Communication is key. Yes, it is. Um, so, you're waiting to hear back from someone? Is that what you said? I was in the process of sending a text to find out what's going on when you called me. Ah. That's why I didn't answer the first time, because I was trying to send a text. Yeah, no worries. And I didn't get it sent, because I didn't get the message sent. Finished. Gotcha. So as soon as right. we're done with these videos, I'm going to 
get off the call and uh, get that message sent. Right. Or if you want, um, after I stop this video, I could hang up with you and give you a minute and then call you back if you want to get the message sent out right away. It's up to you. Um, actually, that would be great. Okay. So is there anything else... Anything else? Nope. Okay. All right. So, you guys, um, y'all have a good afternoon. I might make one more video, um, maybe. Um, my dad has to cut some twigs with the lawn, the riding lawnmower, so I might make a video of that if he actually does it and if the battery's not dead. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you want to do the? You want? Do you want to do some recommendations or? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'll recommend. My channel, N I K K I W U N D E R L I C H. Please like and subscribe if you have not. Please like this video and subscribe to Thomas's channel if you have not. Please check out Molly Burke. She's a blind YouTuber. She's an inspirational speaker, or a motivational speaker, I mean, and she has a guide dog named Gallup. And please check out Joy Ross. She is also a blind YouTuber. She has a guide dog named Arabella, and she seems to find joy in everything she does. Okay. And, and I'll let you do the rest. Thank you. And she also had a beautiful guiding um guiding dog, a beautiful guide dog named Arabella. I mean, uh, not Arabella, Antonia, and she was a yellow lab. And she got her in 2009, and she passed away, I think, last December? Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, um, did you say, oh, yeah, you said Molly. All right. Okay. Also, check out Depression to Expression. That's Depression to Expression. That's a great YouTube channel for people who have... Um, uh, da, 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 da. thank you. I don't know why. I I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like. I don't know why that happened. Depression and anxiety, and uh, it's a good channel for people who have mental illness. Um, uh, Yellow Brick Cinema. Please check out Yellow Brick Cinema. Uh, it's a great YouTube channel. Uh, you can listen to different music, music for studying, music for uh, deep sleep. Meditating and deep sleep music. And also, you guys, they have 24-hour live streams. And last but not least, check out Lawn Boy 8461 channel. Now, you guys, right before, um, I, uh, right before we go, I, I, on a very serious note, could you guys please pray for um, my uncle Dick? He is having brain surgery tomorrow. So if you guys, he's having what they he's having what they call a craniotomy. Um, for those of I've never I don't really talk about him much, um, but he has melanoma, which is cancer, and he's been battling it since oh seven. The it went to his first it went to his liver. They got it. Then it went to both of his lungs, the cancer. They got that. Then it went to his brain, and he's been in remission. And, you know, he gets scans, and he gets infusions and treatments, you know, um, on, on a regular bait, you know, like every few months. And, you know, if you met him, you'd never know he has cancer. You know, he's just a normal, great guy. But I think it was a couple of weeks ago they went to uh, they went to go for a scan, and... Um, they saw something, but they're not sure if it's a tumor. So that's why they got to cut, cut him open and see what the heck's going on in his brain. Um, and he's been dropping things lately. His right hand, he's been dropping things out of his right hand. Um, so yeah. Anyway, his surgery is at 730 tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. Um, up at Yale, Yale, New Haven. That's a really good hospital. Um, I'll pray for him. Thank you. And so I just wanted to, uh, you know, say that. Please pray for my uncle because uh, brain surgery is not nothing to fool around with. Right. <laughs> you know, so um, so hopefully everything will go well. And I'm sure it will because 
he has he he just keeps beating the odds, man. He's he's very blessed and he's very lucky, you know. All right. So uh, thanks again, you guys, and keep them in your prayers. And tomorrow afternoon, hopefully, I'll know how the surgery went. And when Nikki and I do the video, hopefully, I'll have good news for you guys. But thanks again, you guys. Take care, and. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock my time, 1 o'clock Nikki's time. Thank you for watching or listening to this video. Y'all take care.